know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but nobody said the apple couldn't be dipped in caramel and peanuts. Yeah, the Affy Tapple has become a Chicago icon and a fall tradition. This year, the company celebrating an important milestone. In tonight's cover story, WGN's Mike Lowe explores why the Affy Tapple has always been love at first bite. When the leaves start to turn the color of caramel and the air is as crisp as an apple, you know it's fall. But in Chicago, the season may as well go by another name. And it is caramel apple season. It's Affy Tapple season. Affy Tapple is one of the city's favorite foods. It is definitely one of the iconic Chicago brands. This year, the Caramel Apple Company is celebrating 75 years in business, a proud milestone for owner Josephine Beavers. When I talk about what we, what we do as a family, and I mentioned that we, uh, we manufacture, you know, Affy Tapple, people say, oh my God, I love that. Everybody says, I love it, I remember that, you know, and everybody's had an experience. In 1948, Affy Tapple opened its first factory on Clark Street in Rogers Park and soon became a staple of school fundraisers. It's a nostalgic brand, obviously, and I think it goes back to a lot of our childhoods. The unmistakable blend of flavors is uniquely appealing. So you got the crunchy peanuts, you have the tree caramel, the sour apple, and um, it's quite an experience. Inside of the factory, nearly 350,000 Jonathan apples, known for their sweet taste, tart tanginess, and firm texture, come directly from Michigan orchards to Niles. Approximately 350,000 apples through a day. And how much caramel? About 20 tons in one day. Do you have a number of how many peanuts you go through? About 9 million peanuts a day. 9 million peanuts. So here is our apple dipping stations. Plant manager Abe Esquibal describes the five minute process that will transform an apple into an affy tapple. We wash our apples thoroughly. After a bath to ensure all stems, leaves, dirt, and germs are gone, the apples glisten as they roll on a conveyor belt. Workers will grab them one at a time and with a specially designed punch press, insert a tapered wooden stick into the core of the apple. I won't give away all the secrets on uh, that process, but we've got, a, got it down to a science. Once the sticks are inserted, the apples move along and tumble off the conveyor belt onto soft padding that sends them up an escalator to the caramel dipping stations, where workers hand place each one into special stick holders on a conveyor. In the background, the caramel is cooking in copper kettles, the originals from 1948. It's made in 80 pound batches, and the recipe is a closely held secret. You know, you can see it, but we're not gonna tell you exactly how it's done. The fact that those guys can lift those copper kettles and pour that caramel and just that, that whole process, it, it, it really is amazing. Once the caramel is ready, the apples on sticks go for a ride, seemingly inspired by another Chicago invention, the Ferris wheel. Then it goes through a dipping process where it's getting dipped in that hot caramel. The caramel coating stays gooey over open flames that keep it perfectly heated at 200 degrees. That's hot enough to stick to the apple. The next step is a twirl to eliminate excess caramel, leaving a smooth, even coating. The apples then tip sideways and spin, rolling on round tables piled with peanuts. Then they're set on trays and sent into a cooling area for 20 minutes so they can be packaged in the familiar plastic containers. From there, the cases are wrapped and shipped to stores in 25 states. The biggest buyer is Walmart. Affy Tapple has about 50 year-round employees, but at the peak production season, Labor Day to Christmas, the staff swells to about 350. Well, when I pull up to work, I can smell the caramel in the parking lot. Off to the side, some employees are making handcrafted gourmet apples for the company's upscale label called Mrs. Printables. But it's Affy Tapple, the name design, so it will be listed first under the A's in the phone book and its Looney Tunes-like logo. I think it's fun. That will always be. It's just fun. The apple of Chicago's eye. 
In Niles, Mike Lowe, WGN News. And to celebrate the 75th anniversary, Affy Tapple is holding a family fun day. It will feature giveaways, games and magicians and more. And of course, you can dip and decorate your own apples. It's open to the public at the factory in Niles from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday. You can find all the information on our website, WGNTV.com. I wouldn't mind eating one right now <laughs> after watching all that. Remember the Affy Tapple days at school? It's yes. amazing. Love it.